All right. What's going on, bro? Probably one of the most, most, most popular questions to be asked at this point in time in the fitness, bodybuilding, and aesthetics industry. What should my first cycle be? In this video, I'm going to take you through what are some of my recommendations for your first ever steroid cycle? What are some of the easiest things to do? Why you should be doing them? What can you do for safety purposes and such? What kind of results you should be expecting to get? And uh, yeah, pretty much if you want to hop on the sauce, how you can do it in the safest possible manner. Let's get into it right into this one. All right, bro. Okay, so now my first cycle ever if you watch the lgd transformation video one the lgd transformation video two you'll notice that my first two anabolic cycles like my anabolic ped cycles were not even like steroid cycles they were SARM cycles right i chose to do lgd 4033 at the bare minimum dosage of five milligrams and i did mk677 so it's like, oh, there, there's such a thing called as the anabolic matrix. Uh, please have a picture of that thing up here. So there's the anabolic pathway. There's the growth hormone pathway. There's the insulin pathway. Uh, there's, oh shit. I'm actually forgetting the other ones. Da, 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 da. I, don't, I actually don't remember what the other ones are. I guess supplementation and so on and so forth. I guess I, I just forget at this point. Never mind. But yeah, there's all of these different pathways that you can utilize at one point in time in order to maximize and have synergy in order to get the maximum possible benefits and the results that you possibly can. So instead of trying to do every single one of them at once, which is not required, which I still have until date ever taken GH or insulin, and I don't think I ever will, there's no point really, there's no reason really for you to maximize every single thing. This is, uh, I must sound like a broken record and I probably sound like an old school teacher or something that always says the exact same thing that the basics are the best the basics are the best um but yeah actually let's just give you some examples of the basics are the best right 15 year old kid put on 60 pounds on this man in a span of a year and a half went from 1600 calories uh in the past when he was binge eating on one side to now 3600 plus calories and he's force feeding himself to trying to get food in uh deadlifts above three almost at three plates bench press above his uh, initial body weight initial body weight uh, higher than that at this point so on and so forth uh a guy that's benching 100 pound dumbbells in the first 16 weeks of us uh working together one of my close relative friend clients like a person that i know in person lost 30 pounds gained like 8 to 10 pounds of lean body mass in the first six weeks and a bunch of other people including my mother and so on and so forth right and of course my mom's on hand now the point with this is your training has to be on point your diet has to be on point my entire channel so far has been about nothing but training and dieting and programming and periodization so many different clips so many different cards so many different thumbnails so much stuff reverse dieting metabolic damage all kinds of things you need to understand all of these things first and then when you understand how the food works and how the body works and how protein synthesis works and how the training and periodization and programming works, then you put in like the tiniest amount of an anabolic that multiplies your results by like 30% or something, not 30%, by three times or something. Um, that's going to like skyrocket your gains simply because you have every single other thing dialed in. The biggest problem that I see that other guys are facing when they come to me is like, oh man, I've been doing this for so many years and I've been doing this for so long and I've been doing this and this and this. And then when I ask them, like they're doing this thing wrong, that thing wrong, that thing wrong, that thing wrong. And I'm like, bro, let's just fix this simple thing. And they're like, oh my God, one bro, one month, these kinds of results, stuff like that. You know, again, thumbnails of all these kinds of th uh, kinds of things are going to be up there. So let's get back to the actual anabolic cycle itself. Um, so when I did it, everything else per se was still, I still understood it. I'd lost my passion. And this is another video too, like why I look like shit after, despite training for 11 years. There's another video on that one as well. Um, and it's actually the perfect example to kind of give you, like I had forgotten all this stuff because I, it's quite the opposite for me. Everybody else hops on the sauce in the first week that they start training. Um, I didn't hop on until year seven or something. And from year four or five until like year seven, I was barely making any gains. All, all that was happening was basically my motivation was going down, 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 my discipline, my drive and everything for, to, for me to go back into the gym was going down, down, down. Like I was super depressed by the end of it. So anyways, that's the reason why you need to understand your training and diet should be on point before you think about going and doing anything. 
when I did start doing it, 5 megs of LGD, 25 megs of MK677, those are the only two things that I needed. My diet was shit, like legit shit, pretty much like 70% was like shit food maybe, processed food and so on and so forth. Uh, not like junk food, but like mostly processed uh, versions of the food. I don't even know, it was, it was pretty bad. And I still made massive results, massive gains. Those pictures should be up here as well, my LGD transformation results. Now... I would suggest LGD or even Austrian because Austrian is even more sturdy than LGD and they're both pretty safe and uh, Austrian is milder than LGD. So you could do a cycle of LGD uh, Austrian once, then do it again, then do it three times. And if you possibly don't get results on the third time, then you bump it up to LGD and then you do it LGD once, twice, thrice. <coughs> and then you bump it up to something else if, you, if you'd like. But this is about steroids, something that have been around much longer for at least 30, 40 it was 19, well, they were made 1930s, 1960s. So I think like 60, 70, 80 years or something. So there's still a lot more studied for sure. Now, here's where I differ from most other people, right? Because everybody on planet Earth keeps, go keeps going, yo, testosterone is the major hormone that's inside your body. So just take more testosterone because you already know what it is. You already know what it should do or how it behaves or something. And you just take more of it. So there's nothing unnatural or nothing extra to the body or something. That's the argument that's generally given. It's like, it's the same thing. You just do more of it. As opposed to like taking another compound, like anything else like DECA or Anadrol, Anavar or any other thing, oral or not as well, right? Now my, now I completely disagree here. And the reason for this is pretty simple. Yes, testosterone is testosterone. Yes, number one. <clears throat> but it isn't the exact same thing when you start taking it in higher dosages. Because once you start taking it in higher dosages, that's when you get side effects like acne, hair loss, um, gynecomastia, uh, uh, estrogen. Uh, so basically just higher estrogen, which does lead to gynecomastia, plus other things that will just higher aromatization or something that wouldn't be happening normally. Um, possibly uh, loss of erection, ED, all of these different kinds of things that happen. Happen because you are higher blood pressure, etc, etc, right? All these things happen because you're just taking the same thing in a much higher amount or something. So regardless, you will face some or the other side effects that will be individual to you. You will face them despite it being just testosterone, right? So that it is going to happen. So that's the one thing. The second more important thing is testosterone in itself doesn't come in tablets as far as I understand it, or at least not in effective forms in terms of tablets or something. So uh, if you're taking testosterone, you have to inject it, right? Why as a complete beginner, when you don't know whether you want to do it forever or something or something like that, which by the way, if you, if you start enhancing for the most part, you're probably going to be enhanced forever because it just is kind of the way, well, once you, once you've gone to that level, you're probably never going to want to come back. Now, this doesn't mean that I don't hop off and I don't enjoy my training off or something. In fact, that was a really good Reddit post at some point in time, which is ironic. Reddit came up with like a quality post, <clears throat> but, um, uh, there was a post somewhere that it said, uh, uh, have, do other guys feel like if they're not on cycle, they don't have the same motivation or this or that or something to train or something, something like that. And I feel so off and I feel so bad or something. And I re remember the reply to the post was basically, yeah, man, that's called loving the fucking process. That's like, you have to love the fucking process first and then decide to juice it up and enhance. Like you cannot not like the process. Like I, no, I, this is the weirdest thing. In fact, it's almost negative. It's almost bad that I, when I go off, I actually go off for five, five months, like minimum four months. I go for five months. Like I, it's just, I just do my own thing and I just forget about everything else or do with everything else and I just do my own thing and then I forget about enhancing once again um so I actually go off for really really long amounts of time which probably should stop at this point it should, I should be like six to eight weeks off six to eight weeks off because I do want to take bodybuilding a little bit more seriously at this point um yeah so where was I going with that Oh yeah. So if you're on this thing, you're probably going to be on it forever, so to speak. Like at least you're going to be enhancing for the next 10 years or something. You're probably going to take the sport hobby really seriously for the next 10 years at least. So you have to think that through or something. Like when, once you start injecting, you're probably going to be on it for the next 10 years. That's number one. Number two, if you've never injected before, why immediately start with the complication or something of injecting? Now, the thing is, inevitably, you would have to if you're going to go this direction, but find out, dip your foot into the water, dip your toe into the water to find out whether you like the enhancement process and, and what comes after the PCT and everything else. Like, do you, Can you handle that part or not? Which is why my suggestion for the first cycle is always Anavar because it's the most studied anabolic. It's the most studied uh, oral only. It's the mildest oral only. I believe it was created for patients that were like bed literally bedridden, couldn't do anything, um, that were uh, facing sarcopenia and basically lo just losing muscle sitting in bed or something. And it was made for those people to not lose muscle. And it was also made for liver patients or something 
liver patients or something that were having like issues or something, something like that. So it's literally made for those guys and people that don't do anything in order to be the safest possible. And it's been studied the most, right? So if you were to start off and oral anabolics kick in like this. Oh my God, come on, bro. So oral anabolics like kick in like this. So if you want to start off, my suggestion would be start off with an oral only. Start off with 20 mg of anabar only. If you're a natural that's been doing this for the longest amount of time naturally, then you will love doing anabar literally only at 5 mg. It might take a week for it to like completely properly kick in because it's such a low dosage, but you will feel even 5 mg of anabar. You will feel even 10 mg of anabar. You will feel 20 mg of anabar. Like literally your entire first cycle could be only 20 mg of anabar and that would be more than enough. Like, okay, Google, stop. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> um, but yeah, so your entire first only run could actually be like 20 weeks of Anavar only, and that's it. And you could run this for six to eight weeks just to figure out and feel like what the enhancement actually feels like because you're going to see the pumps, you're going to see how you look, you're going to see the enhanced vascularity. You will see and feel how all of these things actually feel and behave, and you don't need to inject whatsoever. So, my first ever steroid cycle. Uh, recommendation would actually be Anavar and only at 20 bags. Your second cycle probably should be the exact same thing, right? Your second cycle should be the exact same thing. Just get the most out of it. And then again, get the most out of it. Like do it as many times as possible. I think I got stuff out of my LGD, the same five mix and 25 mix of uh, MK that cycle when I ran it three times in a row. And then I ran it the fourth time and I didn't get anything. And I ran it the fifth time to confirm that I didn't get anything. And then I bumped up the doses. Like it literally must've taken me like a whole year to go from one to the other or something. So just, just try and get the absolute max out of every single thing. And you Post and you can and once you start getting even better results you will put in more effort into your training and you will put in more effort especially into your diet so just put in more effort and you're good to go uh but yeah first ever only anabolic cycle uh run would be testosterone only if you want recommendations on how much now this is also something that people always screw up is like oh i'm just gonna do 250 because it's high trd i'm just gonna do 300 i'm like bro that's like barely higher than anything and i think derek is one of the guys that's come up with like oh 300 is more than enough no, it's not. If you're going to bump up, then bump up to at least 400, at least. Now, don't do the recommended Reddit 500, but even that's not bad. But like at least 400, then you could taper up to 500, then you could taper, taper up to 600. And your first cycle does not even have to go above 400. Like literally your first cycle 400, second could be 400 only, third could be 400, 500, 600, you know, four, four, four weeks or something. I would also suggest uh, going for longer cycles, like 12 weeks minimum, 16 weeks possibly, 20 weeks possibly. Now, if you're doing it only for the first time, then maybe only go 16 weeks or so. You could also just go 12 weeks, but I suggest longer cycles because these are injectables and they'll be going longer. If you're going the oral route, Anovar route, then only eight weeks. Uh, and then you can keep on rinsing and repeating after every four to six weeks or something. Get your, for the love of God, get your blood test done first because you will never get virgin bloods ever again. That will never, ever happen ever again. Get your virgin bloods done first, even if it costs you more than the steroid cycle. Then buy your PCT stuff first then by your actual steroid cycle because this also happens the entire time is like people actually run out of their shit and then they and then they feel like shit because you know they never bought the right pc bro what's going on here uh they never buy the pct stuff and it takes forever for the pct stuff to come in and that's when all of the suppression and shit is happening and that's when you fuck, feel fucking depressed that's when you feel suicidal that's when you feel completely anxious the entire time that's when you're losing your gains too possibly and you feel that and see that and all that kind of stuff all that stuff is happening at that point just stay away from that stuff get your pct get your novodex get your clomid get your hcg whatever is required or something i'll make another video on uh, hcg pct and so on and so forth all right, guys, I hope you guys out get the fastest possible body transformation in the shortest amount of time in the safest possible manner without any side effects. I also help you guys out with pickup, game, financial independence, so on and so forth in my tier three of coaching. The results of myself and my clients should be on the screen in front of you right now. The vast majority of these guys are actually natural. Some of them may not be, but this is if you're if you're enhanced and or thinking about doing your first cycle or you did your first cycle and you got jack shit, diddly fucking bullshit results, then start off with me. I will it will blow it will boggle your fucking mind when I make our training really easy, when I make our diet really easy, when I make our uh, uh, supplementation routines super simple and the results will actually boggle your mind so if this is something that you're interested in if this is something that you would want to explore with the calendar link is in the description box below please fill that out besides that help me out with the like comment share subscribe so on and so forth with the youtube algorithm if you have any questions or something dm me at intellectual.muscle i check out my own instagram dms and besides that i shall see you all next time peace